Hey guys, welcome back to Ollie Talks Airsoft. Today we're doing a bit of a top down and we're looking at the brand new Tokyo Marie LCP. So it's only been out a few weeks. Um, it arrived today, so I'm pretty excited to bring this to you. And yeah, uh, let's get on with it. So let's have a little look at the box. As per usual, Tokyo Marie have done a, a really nice job. Um, it looks textured, but it's but it's not on here. Uh, high quality for their customers. I can confirm that that usually is pretty high quality. Um, you'll see here it says number one. Uh, this is because it's the first in their new range of non-blowback uh, gas pistols. Obviously they do have um, some non-blowback pistols already out there on the market. So you can already get like the Mark 23 and some of the, obviously their revolvers are non-blowback as well. So full disclosure, I did actually unbox this earlier so I have had a quick look at it. Um, so, as with all new TM pistols, inside the lid, you're going to find uh, the instruction manual. Uh, so, again, this is pretty standard for all TM pistols. However, I did note in this one, there isn't actually um, any parts diagram or an exploded diagram of the gun at all. Which, that's the first time I've ever seen that on a TM gun. Normally you get an exploded parts diagram... Um, there is none of that in this, uh, which is odd, basically. Okay, and this is the actual gun itself. Uh, obviously, I've taken uh, this part here off, and it did have a barrel plug, but I've since disposed of that. Uh, the only thing that you also get in here, uh, in addition to the pistol and one magazine, is you get a little box here, and if we open it up, it has some Tokyo Marie. Uh, 0.2 gram BBs, uh, and that's the weight that they recommend using in this uh, in this particular gun. So if you've been looking at it, you'll probably already know um, it's non-blowback and it's got a fixed hop up, and it ho it has this, which is a a 10 round single stack magazine. So let's um let's take it out and let's get this box out of the way and, and have a little look at the uh, the little package itself. So that's the way. It's entirely constructed of plastic, uh, with the exception of the trigger. Uh, this is your safety, which you push up and it engages with a nice positive click. It means that you can't pull the trigger. It doesn't block the trigger, it just makes it incredibly stiff up, up until the point that you just don't really want to pull it anymore. Um, that's not going to be an individual serial number either. So anyway, you push that down and go on engage. Uh, the last metal part is the magazine release, which goes all the way through. So it's obviously metal on both sides. And finally, obviously, you have a, a full metal, I believe it's a die-cast zinc. Uh, that's what they usually use, a die-cast zinc alloy. So this is an incredibly light gun. I'm, I'll tell you what, let's just quickly get this on the scales and let's see what this actually weighs in at. I'm sure it probably tells me on the box or something, but I like to I like to have a look for myself. Okay, so 260 grams, and I've got to say, I've got a feeling that if we weigh it without the magazine, 135 grams just for the gun, 125 for the mag. So the mag and the gun almost uh, almost weigh the same amount, which is again, um, that's pretty weird. So. Um, so the actual uh, the actual construction on this is really good. Um, you get a little rattle um, with the magazine out, but as soon as the magazine is inserted, all of that rattling goes away, and it's really nice and solid. I also very much like what they've done with the two tone here. So they've gone with the uh, polymer sort of polymer effect textured lower um, with the with the different effect on the slides. They've done really well there. And also I should mention that the the LCP markings are nice and clean. And they're quite, uh, they look like they're quite deep cut, to be honest. Uh, they look very good. And again, the, the serial number looks very good as well. And you'll notice down on here, there is a, a TM logo instead of a Ruger logo. Uh, I, I kind of like that. I kind of like that they did that. That's kind of cool. Um, so you've got on the slide, Calibre 380 Auto. Um, before using gun read, <laughs> warnings in instructor manual. So yeah, there's some um, uh, Japanese English on there. And there's the, the little TM logo down here as well. So on the top, I believe that this is probably how you'll end up taking the gun down, should you need to. 
Um, I don't think there is going to be any reason to. Obviously, this is a, a fixed slide pistol. Um, it's a fixed hop-up pistol, so there's not really going to be any points of adjustment on this. The actual sight picture is pretty clean, uh, non-adjustable, and obviously there is no there's no hammer on the back here. So this is this is really good because you could ultimately like drop it into a pocket or something like that, and it's um it's really concealable, really small, and also as you've seen, very very light as well. Another advantage that you get with having a fixed slide is actually there will be absolutely zero wobble in the barrel whatsoever. That's going to be completely solid in there. And the observant ones amongst you might have noticed that actually when I took it out of the box, there isn't actually a cleaning and unjamming rod with this. So, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I, I guess you would normally just fire things out and you can always... Uh, pop something down into the barrel uh, should you wish to give it a clean. Uh, I'd recommend, I don't know, like a Q-tip or something like that. So, okay, let's um, let's put the mag in and actually no, let's talk just for a second about the magazine. So this is also a little bit different. You'll notice there aren't actually any feed lips. It feeds directly from the front here. And you actually, for TM, this is quite a nice, um, quite a nice follower. A lot of the time you really have to dig your nails in. You don't need nails for this. You can drag it back with your with your finger, this is where you will load the BBs and they will single stack 10 of them. And then this part essentially pushes forward and it will actually push the BBs kind of out of the front. So it, it moves each time to, to push a BB out. So let me just grab one. So if I put this in, uh, put this in properly, put it in down there and this actually then pushes forward and loads it through into the gun. But, so I didn't just buy the LCP with one mag. I bought another mag for it as well. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to fill this one up with green gas and I'm going to fill this one up with 144A gas and we're going to test it. We're going to test the FPS and we're going to see what we're going to get out of this. Um, last thing, sorry, my reviews are always a bit all over the place. Um, Ollie talks airsoft, not Ollie does professional reviews. Um, so... The actual trigger pull on this, um, it's stiff, but it's it's relatively predictable. Um, so as you as you pull the trigger, you'll get a first click, which I don't really know what that is. It's then a little bit gritty all the way through. It'll break, and then you still have some over travel. So it doesn't really feel particularly nice. It kind of feels a bit gritty, but. Tokyo Marie have said that they've revised the internals um, on all of these new sort of compact gas guns. Uh, and actually all of the internals on this are going to be metal. Um, that's pretty standard for a TM pistol, to be honest. Um, it's just odd that we've got one in such a tiny package. So let me just go, let me just grab a Glock 19 quickly, because that's a pretty like standard size pistol and you can just compare. So yeah, here we've got a, a Gen 3 Tokyo Marie uh, Glock 19 and here we have the little Ruger LCP in 380 auto so considerably smaller but um yeah let's get to let's get to chronoing and let's learn a bit more about this so I've got my two mags uh the one with the blue mark is the green gas and this is 144A so the gases that I'm using are I've got this one which is the Abbey Predator 144 gas and I've got ASG Ultra F my green gas I'm also going to do, no one ever does this, I'm going to use the BBs that came with it. These are Tokyo Marie BBs, they're fine to use, just chuck them through your gun. Like, no matter of review, like if you get a cheap gun, yeah, maybe don't, but look at that. Straight into the speed loader, done. I've got so many Tokyo Marie boxes with little bags of TM BBs in there. Why? What's the point? Just use them, like, there's nothing wrong with them. Okay, so what we're going to be testing here is we're going to see what FPS we're going to get. I'm going to see how many shots we get off on each mag as well. So I mean, that's probably what's going to intrigue me the most, to be honest. You can't fit much gas in these. Like, they are tiny. So <laughs> that is how the mags look when they're completely loaded. So... Should we start with the, the 144? And that's what's that's the recommended gas, that's what we're supposed to be using in this. So let's 
pop it in. So you don't need to cock this at all. So basically, there's currently nothing in the barrel or anything like that. So as soon as you put that in, it should now be ready to fire as soon as I pull the trigger. So I get my chrono here. And let's see what results we get. That was 191. I'll just call them out. 196. 194, 192, 191, 194, that was a bouncer, that's why we wear eye protection, 191, 193, 192, 191, so right about the 190s there, and it's definitely out, that's good. So it is just holding the 10, it's not holding one in the barrel or anything like that. So now let's try with the green gas and let's see if that actually gives us a bit of an FPS boost. Well, that certainly sounded a lot different and 229 FPS. So we're just on about 230 there. Time out. 229.9. Two twenty. You wouldn't believe this. This is really consistent. Two twenty eight point nine. So like we are so close here. Two two twenty nine. Of course. Two thirty three. And two twenty six. And that should be the last one. It sounds a lot louder with the green gas, I must say, and those FPS numbers are not lying. So let's um, load up with some more BBs and let's see how many we get out of each of these mags. So, so far we've fired 10 shots and one dry fire out of each mag. I'm gonna reload and let's try again. Both, legs, both mags loaded back up. Right, let's, uh, let's try this again. Obviously I'm shooting in a safe direction. So one thing that I do quite like about this um, after having fired a few shots and stuff is the magazines have a ridge just on the bottom here and it does make it a lot easier because the mags actually don't drop free. Ooh, he says, hang on a minute. Ah, oh. you know what? They weren't dropping free a little while ago. That's, that's dropping free now. Check this. Ah, oh. There. It's when you release, okay, so you press the mag release in. Ah, it's, in it's breaking in, basically, it's breaking in. No comment so far. <laughs> Let's just get on with it. Okay, not bad. We're on 21 shots. Let's load up again. Seems good. Let's try some, uh, this is the green gas mag again. Let's try some rapid fire. Nice, okay. Uh, still gas, let's go. Okay, so we're now on our fourth mag of BBs. So what I'm gonna do now is run it back through the chrono and see what the numbers are saying. 189, so this is the, um, this is the 144 mag. Yep, this is the 144 mag. 184, 177, 180, 174, 177, 169. We're ending up on 158 there, so the number's getting really low. Let's see how the, how the green gas is going to hold up. 116, this is definitely on the way out. There we go. So I'll put up on the screen how many was that, how many shots that was for the green gas mag. And let's just load a couple more rounds up into, actually, no. So this, this magazine is currently empty, right? There's nothing in there. 
I tried to fire a shot through this mag and it ran out of gas. Is there still one in the gun? Place your bets. Or did that just fall out? Something just landed on my lap. Um, let's see. There was. One stayed in there. So now it is out. Okay, let's just. That was about 17 shots on the 18th one, it died there. So, to be honest guys, I'm actually, I'm pretty impressed with that, um, with the capacity we got on that. So, mags are out, everything's safe. Right, oh, I can see again. Um, this is, this is really cool. Um, I kind of almost wasn't expecting it to be as good as it is. Um, let's, uh, let's, let's do some accuracy testing. Let me change this target up and let's see, uh, let's see how accurate it is. One thing that people may want to know is you can get a little bit of flex, um, on the side. You can press these sides. It's, I don't think it's going to matter. I don't think it's going to affect your performance at all. Um, but yeah, maybe something to bear in mind. And also, I, did I, did I mention it before? So I've got something in, but there's no gas. So empty gun, empty mag. When you when you hold it, like it's basically you have to hold it like this, like that's rock out. Um, so your little finger is just going to be dangling off the end of it. Like doesn't matter what happens, that's always. And look look at that! It's insane. My finger is basically as long as the gun, and I do not have giant man hands. I wear like a mechanics medium. Like I'm just a normal sized person. Um, but this is tiny. This is really small. But weirdly. That grip is really comfortable. I wasn't expecting it to be as comfortable as it is. Um, but it is. It is. It's really comfy. And it feels so... Because there is zero wobble in it, it just feels nice. Like, yeah, it does feel... It feels solid. And I noticed on the box as well, it says that... I, I think... It basically says 30 to 40, which is normally the the range that they would put on one of their standard pistols. And I think, I mean, I, I don't speak Japanese, maybe someone can let me know, but I think they're saying that this can shoot 30, 40 metres. I want to find out. Um, I have fired a couple of shots um, at, you know, like 20 metres or so. It is ever so slightly over hopping a 0.2 um, and ever so slightly under hopping a 2.5. That might be the reason that there are 0.23 gram BBs on the market nowadays. But to be honest, I don't mind that tiny bit of overhop. Uh, that's, to be honest, that's how most people have their guns set up anyway. So I think actually running twos through this is being, yeah, they see, they seem to fly nice and straight and far. And I've not cleaned the barrel or, or anything on this. And the FPS certainly on green gas is like decent. So obviously I'll, I'll do a follow up and let you know if the green gas mag that I've marked up starts to leak. Because I am going to keep it. I'll just use one for four in this one. Just use green gas in the other one, and that way, at least, then a few months down the line, I'll have some uh, I'll have some opinions. So I don't know if anyone had one of the Tokyo Marie shotguns, like um, the M870s. I have got one of those. Obviously, put green gas in the gas tank, and it bowed out. Everyone kind of had that problem. If only we'd known. So right, enough of that. Let's get on with the uh, with the other shooting part of it, and let's see what kind of accuracy we're going to get out of this platform. So, what are my final thoughts? It's pretty cool, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I was umming and ahhing whether, whether to actually pick one of these up. I'm glad that I did. It's really cool. The fact that you can um, put it in a pocket, let me show you exactly what I mean. Um, it will literally slip into a, just a jeans pocket. If you're playing a Milsim, how, like that's that's so convenient. Like that's That's really good. The fact that you're gonna get you know, probably about 40 shots 
like 30 to 40 good powered shots out of each one of these mags on one full of gas. It literally takes one second to fill it with gas as well. Um, can't speak for the longevity, obviously. Um, can't really properly review it yet. Uh, but certainly you can see the accuracy uh, behind me. I'm stood, uh, it's about four to five meters away from the target, uh, right at the back of my room. So yeah, actually those results, I, th I think I'm, it basically kept on just shooting through the same hole. Um, so I thought, well, oh, that's not gonna make for a very good video, but that's how it shoots. So that's a good thing, right? So last thing, um, I just wanna say thank you very much for sitting through my ramblings and my reviewing. Or, or you know, fucking chat about the chat about the gun. Um, if you are like me and you're really looking forward to the Tokyo Marie gas blowback AKM coming out later this year, still trying to find out when it's going to happen. Hopefully, maybe sometime in June. I'm kind of hoping for um, not long now, but maybe like end of June, start of July kind of time is when I'm fingers crossed for it. But as soon as those things come up on pre-order, I'm getting myself one. I absolutely love the TM gas rifles. Uh, I've got the MP7, the MWS, and the Type 89. Love all three of them, they're brilliant. So if you're looking for an early doors review on that gun when it comes out, then subscribe to my channel and you're gonna get one. So with that being said, I hope you've enjoyed today's review and oh, fuck, why do I keep calling it a fucking review? It's not a review. It's a, it's a look at it. It's like, what do I think of it? I hope you've enjoyed this look at the brand new Tokyo Marie LCP. Um, if you want to know any more about it, I guess you can just drop me some questions down in the comments or something like that. I'll try and respond when I can. But to be honest, there's not much to say about it. It's um, it's cool, it's very solid, it's very small, it's very thin, it's light. Yeah. It's a cool gun, guys.